Here is a test bench for an A-type overdrive. An overdrive has been installed already. This is a very good method of testing your rebuilt overdrive before installing it in the car. You can check the pressure operation and set the operating valve correctly. It works like this. Turn on the power. It's working and now we can see the pressure. And if we turn on the overdrive, you can hear a different sound and the, the speed is higher. And the pressure, pressure stays the same. Now we are going to set the correct lift height of the operating valve. On the other side there is a lever with a hole in it that according to the workshop manual is used to set the operating valve. Unfortunately this method very often is inaccurate. You can see that the solenoid will pull up on this lever. In order to set the operating valve correctly, we will energize the solenoid and move the lever on the other side until the dial indicator shows a reading of approximately 0.7 millimeters. Keep the lever in place while tightening this lever. Now the operating lever is set to a little more than 0.7 mm, which is perfectly alright. We let go of the current and the lever should go back, which it doesn't, so we have to help it a little. This is quite normal and it will work better when the overdrive is in operation. Place a small screw below the lifting rod of the solenoid so that the rod doesn't fall out of the magnetic field when the solenoid is switched off. It's also a good idea to connect an amp meter in this electric circuit. The solenoid has two windings, one that pulls up the rod and one that holds the rod. When adjusted properly, the rod activates a switch at the top of the bore of the solenoid, which switches off the pulling winding and turns on the holding winding. If this doesn't work, the solenoid will burn. Here we have a low amp reading, which indicates a correct adjustment. You use a dial indicator to check the adjustment. A little bit over 0.7 mil is fine. With the gauge removed and the operating valve put back in place, you can now try the operation of the overdrive since, the, since I have energized the solenoid. First we start the test bench. <coughs> and then we energize the solenoid. And it seems to work very good. Uh, overdrive in uh, a test bench is also a good opportunity to to check for any leaks. There doesn't seem to be any leaks on this overdrive, which of course is very good.